Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Print It. In today's video, I want to talk about a tool that you can use to manage your Mongo databases. So this would most likely be useful for you if you have any local databases because there's no uh, GUI to help you out. If you have your database hosted somewhere like MLAP, then you can use their built-in uh, web GUI to manage your database. But if you have your database hosted elsewhere, um, you may need a way to actually interact with the database. So I'm going to show you a tool that can do that. And to demonstrate, I'll just create an MLAB database, which I already have, and I'll show you how to actually use this tool. So this tool is called RoboMongo, and it's basically a MongoDB manager. And the great thing about it is you can get it for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So no matter what system you're on, you can use it unless you're using like Plan 9 or something. I don't know why you would be doing that. But if you have Windows, Linux, or Mac, you can use RoboMongo, which is great. So I already downloaded it and installed it on my computer. So I'll close this out and I'll open up um, RoboMongo and I'll connect to my database. So uh, I'll hit the connect button here. All right, well, actually, I have to create first. So I'll call this, um, I'll leave the default new connection. And then for the address, I have the address up here. Uh, DS019033 and all that. So I'll enter it here, and the port is 19033. And I can take out this part. I'm just getting the address and the port. Authentication, um, the database name, I need to put that in. So PP underscore Robo Mongo. Username, I use pretty and then print it for the password. And that should be it to connect. So let's see if I can connect to this database that I have. And it's working, it's working. It looks like it has connected. So on the left hand side here, I can see the different things in the database. So collections, functions, and users. I created a typical user account for this database. So it's not an admin user. So I'm limited in what I can do. So I'll only demonstrate how to uh, kind of add to a collection. So I'll go here and do create collection and I'll say um, my new collection for the collection name. And I spell collection wrong there. I'll create it. And now when I go to uh, this list here, I have my new collection there along with a system collection. So if I refresh here in MLAB, I should be able to see the new collection that I just created, which I do. My new collection it doesn't have anything in it, but the collection is there. So now if I want to do something in this collection, I have this handy um, bar up here where I can have queries or statements that I want to run uh, on my collection. So for instance, right now it's doing a find on my new collection. But if I want to insert something, let's say uh, just a basic document, I'll insert key and then value. And I'll execute this by hitting this uh, green arrow or whatever that is, triangle. And it says insert at one record in 172 milliseconds. So I'll refresh this just to see the document. I see the um, key and value were inserted. And of course, if I double click on my collection again, I get to see all the objects that are in that collection. And it includes the one that I just inserted. So like I said, this tool is really useful if you have a MongoDB on your local machine or you have a host where they don't give you any kind of uh, management tools. They basically just set up the database for you and that's it. It's up to you to kind of interface with it. Um, if you're used to MySQL, this is kind of analogous to PHP MyAdmin, but of course it's a native app instead of a web app. But um, that's the whole idea. So. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this tool just in case you needed a way to interact with your database. And um, I think this is a great tool. So check it out. Uh, RoboMongo.org, I believe. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about RoboMongo, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.